Welcome people of Welcome Empires, welcome to another dungeon guide of Sundown. And today we're going to be covering the Temple of Alcobos. This is one of my favourite dungeons and it was incredibly fun making this guide, so I hope you're going to enjoy it and this helps. Thanks for watching. Ok, to start this guide off, we're going to be going through a few recommended items which you're going to need to complete this. So I'm going to be using a set of iron armour and a diamond sword. You can use any sort of armour you want for this, as it is only an iron difficulty dungeon. But I'm going to be using iron armor just as a precaution. In my inventory, I've got 10 paper. If you have the bandage spell, then you can use that to heal yourself up. And a set of pork chops, because pork chops are the best thing to heal yourself. To gain access to the temple of Alco Balls, we're going to be going from the dungeon house, which you can find the New Haven opposite the airships, or you can use a horse transport to get yourself there. For completing this dungeon, you will be rewarded 999 silver, and as the recommended players of 1 to 2. The main plot line to this dungeon is sort of like an Indiana Jones theme, as you see it says you are cursed. So we've got to complete some stuff to actually leave. So to actually get to the main temple itself, we're just going to drop down here and head over to the right, past all these cactuses or cacti, and up the hills and then we'll find an entrance. So we're going to follow down the stairs. The first bit is very simple, which you've just got to follow a few routes and pay attention to a sign, and that's about it. So you'll find two ways you can go here, left or right. Left leads to a dead end, and right leads to the dungeon itself. Now down here we have three signs. This way it says this is the exit, which you will come to after you actually complete the dungeon, and this is the actual entrance to it. And you won't actually fight any mobs or anything until you actually get past a certain point in the dungeon which I will tell you when it is the first main challenge you're going to come across is this little jumping area, it's pretty simple just jump and jump there's one main part which you need to look out for on this and this is this part coming up you'll see that there's a little block in the way as you jump so you've got to stick to the left as much as you can and then jump over well, coming up the next bit is a maze it's quite simple if you just follow what I do and you will find your first set of dungeon chests so the first dungeon chest you're going to encounter is this one after the obstacle course here just follow yourself up the ladders, jump across these steps and then you've got to jump to these turn yourself around and jump over to the ledge. Now dungeon chests rewards are very random so you, everyone is not guaranteed to get the same thing but don't be worried if your friends get something better because you might find something better in a different chest. So after you get down here you're going to come across two ways you can either go straight on or right. We're going to go straight on first so I can show you another dungeon chest. This place is mainly mazy but like I said, it's like an Indiana Jones map, so it's not something too difficult. So as I said, dungeon chests rewards are very random, and they can change from whatever. Some are more valuable, some are less valuable. And we're going to go the right way this time, and this will lead into the main chamber of the dungeon. So after you get through this bit you'll be placed into a chamber with a button and these two nubs are here with us as well. So pretty much this is sort of a riddle or a warning but you know we're all rich so we're going to push a button. Okay it says the room is collapsing we've got to escape but firstly we're going to get ourselves a golden apple. So just pass this lava area and look a golden apple yay! Now, to get past this lava, you're going to want to stick as close to the wall as you can to stop yourself from getting hit. And this is the part where you're going to face a lot of skeletons and zombies. So if you want to get past this bit very easily, just sprint straight across the chasm. 
and head straight through the doors. Okay, so once you get up here, you want to finish off these zombies and follow this route down. Down to your right, kill another zombie, and go down this little hole here, which a couple of zombies are going to be in. Pick up someone's stuff, and here is the part you were in before, but just drop down and you should be okay. Now just follow the route round, and this will lead you towards the end of the dungeon and we'll give you your reward and your final reward chest is going to be over here and here we are at the end thanks for watching and I hope this guy's going to help you, see you around